All right, so we're back over here with Pops at his shop, uh, you know, because he does all the metal working. Uh, you know, we have uh, tested out a couple of these Best Arc plasma cutters, and so far, what's your opinion on Best Arc? <laughs> Impressive. So, uh, you know, been welding 50 something year, probably using yeah. plasma cutters for a couple decades, and uh, machine impressed them. So, anyway, uh, Pops have been trying to build a little CNC machine or plasma table, and all of our other machines were high frequency. Well, we got the best arc low frequency machine now, which will cut just anything that the high frequency will, but it doesn't interfere with the CNC. So let's bring you in here and show you what features this machine has. All right, so basic plasma cutter machine. We uh, have a decent um, ground clamp. Uh, haven't had any issues with them. That just comes over there, snaps in the front. Works fantastic. Now it does have a lot bigger pin for the uh, uh, actual lead there but again it just goes in super easy oh, if you line it up right there you go it's got a little pin so you can't screw it up it goes right in and one of the features that I really love about all these best start machines now they come with the 220 plug and some people don't have 220 but they come with this little adapter and to go from 220 to a 110 all you do is plug this in and then plug that into your wall and everything in the machine is reset. So there's nothing else you have to do. And now we've got a 110 plasma cutter. Now something else about this little machine is it's got a 12 foot whip. So you can have your machine setting way back over there and you know, you can reach out to your material, no problem there. And it's not stiff like the old machines were. Yeah, uh, definitely pops. It, it's got this little uh, ball also. Now the whole cord, is super flexible but also it has the little ball joint right there that gives you that extra little bit of movement which is really good on that uh, wrist and these are blowback tips all right so as you see the display uh, panel here it's basically the same as all the best arcs which i think is one of the best uh, around it's got your cut and air i love this feature because like right now uh it actually shows that we are on the 110 which is because we're plugged into 110, but it has the scale here. So it's saying that our air pressure is too low. So we've got our pressure regulator right here on the front. And okay, so now I'm in the green. So it says that I'm good on my pressure. But when I actually pull the trigger, it's going to, you know, it drops it out. And you see my air pressure goes down. Well, instead of me having to fire this thing off to try to set the air pressure while the air is flowing i can hit this button right here and that turns the air on so now i can actually adjust my air pressure uh, without having to turn on the actual plasma cutter and so with the 44 psi so now it says when i pull the trigger it's actually going to our proper cutting pressure and so i like that feature there is one of the great it's got the plate and the mesh it helps it uh, keep that uh, art going when you're cutting over, you know, doing those little quick cuts on the mesh. And then you have this 2T and 4T. And basically what 2T is, is you pull the trigger and as long as you're holding the trigger, it's burning. When you let go of the trigger, it stops burning. With the 4T, when you pull the trigger, it uh, starts burning, you know, pull it, let go. And it'll burn all day until you pull the trigger and let go again. And then you've got your... Um, uh, pilot arc and your post time which are your uh, settings for how long you want it to run before or after you know your pilot arc and your post time and then other than that you've got your knob over here for your amps so we've got this connected to 110 and as you see uh, we can only go to 35 amps on 110 and then when we set our error um, we come up here and about 50 psi we're still in the green 51 it's going to be in red so now let's convert this thing over to 220 what we're going to do is we're going to flip the power off go ahead and flip that off pops and you want to convert that to 220 for us real quick that's that quick all right we got to flip the switch back on and you got it all right, so now our machine has just been converted to a 220 machine. And so what's going to happen now is our pressure for 51 is good. And so we can actually, it shows that we can run all the way up here to 70 PSI 
uh, before we go into the red. So 70 is the max if we're running 220. And then now we can continue to crank this up and get all the way up to our 50 amps. Now this is a low frequency machine. It's gonna cut exactly like any of our other machines if we're out here by hand. But with this being a low frequency machine, it won't interfere with the electronics on a CNC. So being that this is a low frequency machine, again, you can use it as a regular plasma cutter by hand, but it has these extra controllers in the back and it comes with these nice little pigtails that are made up and they're marked with the wires. This top one is for the THC, the uh, torch height controller. So you plug this in and wire that into your torch height controller. So if your metal's at an angle, it will follow that metal up. And then you've got your control signal, which turns the torch on and off. You plug that in and obviously this is where your air hooks into. It makes it super simple to hook up to a CNC. Sure. So what we're doing here is we went ahead and we've got our machine hooked to 110. And as we check here, we're at 50 PSI on our air and you know 110 max is 35 amps now we could do this by hand but why not just let the machine do it and that way we'll get a nice straight cut quick disclaimer we just now got this machine up and running you see there's no cuts in the grid up there pops has been building working on this machine and we have just hooked this up for the first time this is like 3d printed and some of the things are kind of already broken but just to show off this machine with us not having anything set up this is 3 16th uh, red plate steel and that thing cut it it looked like we had already took a grinder and polished the edge of that i mean it is just ridiculous at how smooth this thing cut uh you know and it was just effortless so let's go ahead and Let's test some more materials and see just what this machine will do. <coughs> that's impressive. Yeah, that's a, I mean, that's a slick, uh, almost as slick as if you had used a grinder on it. Yeah. So this is still on 110. You know, we're running 110, and all of our videos are in real time. I haven't sped anything up. This is quarter-inch plate, and this thing just, you know, blows right through it. And this is the first day we've got this little CNC machine uh, pl plasma table up and running. So we don't know anything about all the f feeds and speeds, but this uh, plasma machine from Best Arc is just, f I mean, it blows you away at how good and accurate it cuts, uh, you know, the smoothness of the cuts. And again, we're still 110. It doesn't say that it can cut half inch. And now this is a piece of half inch on 110, but it can cut up to 5 eighths on 220. However, the air pressure on the machine, that little dial in the front, you know, raises the pressure when you're running 220. So that means that the internals of the machine can handle it. And what I found was if I left the air pressure turned up like I would on the 220, so about 70 PSI, and still cut it on 110, you know, you see right here, it's cutting through this half-inch plate. It's And... I ran it slow because I was thinking I needed to go slower. Now, Pop said that I should have ran it a little bit faster. That's why I got so much slack here. And you can see the metal kind of stuck to the table. The little piece fell right off. And then well, I went and grabbed it out of my hand. It was still a little bit hot. But um, whenever I did pull it off, it was sticking a little bit. And this magnet, I probably should have had a pair of pliers there. Um, but the slag was sticking some. Now, again, that just knocks right off. But it is just crazy at how smooth you know even a piece of half inch plate is cut with the uh, actual plasma machine so we went ahead and plugged the machine into 220 and this is that same piece of half inch plate which is the machine says it can cut up to five eighths and so we're still an eighth of an inch uh, shy of the max that the machine can run and but still running right close to what the max they say that this can, machine can run and it is just another perfectly smooth, I, I'm, I keep saying it, I'm, I probably sound like a broken record here, but it is just crazy at how smooth and beautiful this little um, cut is. And yeah, you know, I just take and hit that you know, once or twice and I look at that. That is just crazy at how smooth and beautiful that cut is. Now, it was like 11 degrees out here, and I'm not, I'm from Florida, so I'm not used to this cold weather. And 
again, this is the first morning. We had some other stuff to do, but I wanted to test out the little plasma machine. And, you know, at the same time, kind of full with this little plasma table Pops had built. And we didn't have any 5 8 metal, but this is 3 quarter. And Best Arc, they, you know, quote what their machines can cut with no problem whatsoever. Uh, they say they can cut 5 8 this thing here is cutting three quarter. Um, you know, we find that they can actually do a little bit more. And again, this is our first day fooling with this little plasma table. So with just a little bit of trial and error, I think we took like two or three cuts to get this here to cut out. And the cut itself was really smooth. Uh, had a little bit of slag on it, but with just a little bit of time, it was able to get that all worked out. But if you're looking for a plasma machine, again, the machine itself is just crazy at how well that it cuts. I, I just don't know what else to say. All right, so pretty good for a little 58 machine, huh, Pops? Very impressive for a little machine like that. So a uh, little machine, 50 amps, we're 5 eighths is what the... Uh, Internet uh, on Amazon says it'll cut, but we're cutting three quarter inch solid plate. Um, got a little slag, you know, we're running 100 millimeters a, a minute, but it's cutting through three quarter inch, which is more than what it said. We figure if we push it to the limit, anything less than that, this machine will cut. It'll cut stainless steel, aluminum, whatever. Um, so, I mean, yeah, you know, and I mean, also we were on this. So this is what uh, JD Garage you said, Pop. Yeah, JD Garage plans. I'm still having a little trouble tweaking it, but so we just got this thing set up. Um, it's been out. He's been working on it, and it's been out in the rain. And the stepper motors have got rain and stuff in them. But uh, this little uh, CNC is actually, uh, you know, making it where it's a nice steady cut. It's all we were trying to show is that. Right. And with the low frequency. We have not had the machine cut out a single time. Not the first machine we uh, videoed. That was uh, a high frequency machine. Was a high frequency. I was tickled with it. It, it, it did a good it, job. It works good as a plasma cutter, but not on a CNC. CNC this one works good as a plasma cutter. And then if you did decide to want to build your little CNC, it was what, 50 bucks, 25 bucks for the plans? 25 bucks for the plans. And, and then, uh, you know, a little bit of time. And how old are you, Pops? 76 now. 76. You ever had a CNC or anything? Before? Never, never. In 76, you was able to take these little plans and uh, get you it operating. You know, we have a bunch of stuff down here from uh, earlier where we were actually cutting out uh, and using it to cut out little plates and things. I mean, a little machine is cuts out uh, fabulous. So uh, definitely, uh, if you're in the machine for a plasma uh, cutter, it's a great plasma cutter, and if you got it in the back of your mind that you might want to build you a little CNC machine or something, uh, I think this is what, about $100, $150 more than the high frequency, but oh. this one will can do everything the uh, high frequency can, plus you're able to actually uh, run it on here, and you know we're getting some fabulous cuts i don't know uh, pretty much not much else we can say about it huh right like i say most people that i've watched the jd's garage haven't been cutting one uh three quarter plate this little machine cut it like a razor blade so <laughs> all right so until next time everybody you want to go out have a wonderful time try to stay warm because it's cold as some sheep's balls out here i tell you <laughs>